Hey, so I'm going to quickly go over how to calibrate your nozzles of your Rigel oscilloscope. So I just got this scope, just got it out of the box, and when I turned it on for the first time, it brought me to this screen right here. So first thing I want to do is make sure that my probes are calibrated. So bottom right hand corner, take the positive end of your probe and put it right here and the negative one on the bottom latch. And this is this probe is plugged into channel two, so I'm gonna go right here, press channel two. And what's gonna happen is I should be getting about a three volt waveform at 100 kilohertz frequency. So my frequency is a 1000 kilohertz, sorry about that. And then my peak to peak voltage is about 312. Now, it's all going crazy, so I'm going to go over here to the trigger menu. I'm going to say menu. And we want the trigger menu to be on source 2, since I'm on channel 2. And then, okay, so you see here that we have a nice square wave, which is great. However, you can see if I zoom in, it's kind of overcompensating right here. So this is where the calibration. Now if you look in the user manual for the probes, it gives you instructions to that there's a notch in your probe that we're going to twist. Because if your square wave looks any, any like anything like this, that's not good. And we want it to be properly constant <laughs> constipated. No, compensated. There we go. So I'm going to get rid of that little notch right there. So I'm going to go over here. And it comes with a flathead screwdriver. So I'm just going to be twisting that until I think it looks like a nice, even square wave. Until I'm happy with it. As you can see, if I turn it to the left, it goes way down or way up to the right. But I just want it to be nice and pretty like that. And I just twisted it barely with this thing on this little notch right here. So... I can safely say that that probe is properly calibrated. I'm happy with it. I can't wait to get going with this scope. All right, thanks, guys. Have a good day.